All right. Once you figure out how far back you need to be with your projector to take the photo of your house to map it, I'll do a video on that. How do I measure my house? How far back? But once you figure that out, bring your projector outside. Wherever it is that you figured out, that's where I'm going to set up. That's where you need to take your photo from. Now, the way you do that and the way that we were taught from Illumabot is you don't have to be so crazy about the photo, is you want to take your photo, your phone from the vertical position and go horizontal. Now, you don't have to be the perfect, you can be right above the lens. The closer you are to the lens and proximity, of course, the better. But if you have to be back a little, don't get too crazy and freak out that it has to be just perfect because when you're outside trying to take that photo, there might be a bush, there might be, do you know what I'm saying? But just be close. You can take the photo here. You can take the photo here. You could pull your phone back a smidge. But the important key is a lot of you, when you go to take your photo, you don't fill up the whole horizontal part of the camera. You take this little photo that's in the middle and you think you're done. You want to take your fingers, zoom out, fill up most of the screen, right? As much as you can with the house and then snap your photo. So you could be right here, right here, but that important thing, the big tip when people are masking and they call in to tech and they're confused, like it's not working. A lot of times, one of the big problems is you didn't make the house big enough. So remember to zoom out with your fingers so that house looks really big horizontally and then put it over, just be close, right? And hit um, capture, take the photo. Now, a customer did tell me she tried it and every video she found, it was taken horizontally. Some reason, she said she had to take it vertical and it worked for her. That was the first time I have heard that. So if you try, right, and you like, I coolly said, keep taking it horizontally, horizontally, my photo's big enough. You know, last year, try it the other way. She said it worked for her. I have never heard that. But this is it, right? Like deep breath, don't freak out. Like we're gonna get there, all right? So just take the image. And then if you look at it on your phone and you don't think it's super clear, erase it, take it again, take it here, take it just above, but it doesn't have to be precise. So once you have your photo, we're gonna upload it inside the app. Let me move to the app and I'll show you, we'll start the masking process. All right, so just a quick side note, when you go to show or do your show or run your, your show um, with the projector, cause it's new, that comes off. That's a lens protector. But when you're brand new to this, you don't know. You're like, is it supposed to be on there? So just make sure, right? This is my ViewSonic 502W. Pull this off. You got to put a little muscle into it because you're worried, like, I don't want to break it. I just spent a million dollars on this thing. Give it a little pop, right? So now the lens is exposed when you go to do your show. But, like, you don't know. Like, you think it's a protector, but, but the big thing was is, you know, I was trying to be super gentle. And I'm like, is this going to come off? Yeah, just put a little muscle and pop it off. And now you're ready to play your show. All right, open your app so we can start the masking process. It doesn't matter where you open the app, something's gonna come up. At the very bottom, there's going to be the navigation bar and there's, it'll say point. If you look at the bottom, you're gonna see point, push point. Now, once you push point, you're gonna see this number with your house or you don't have uploaded your photo yet. It's gonna say, mine says 150 B01. Even if there's no photo there, that is the name or number of your bot. So if you ever happen to talk to tech or they ask you the question, well, what is the name of your bot? That number is the name of your bot. If you have more than one bot, you'll have two different numbers. Now I want you to push your number on the bot. You just push it and you're gonna come to this screen. It says uh, location. 
And then upload, that's where you upload your photo. The first spot is your location, your house. Then you upload photo. And then you're going to come to create mask. There's a little pencil, that green pencil. You want to push it. And once you push it, this is going to come up. And it's going to say, do you want to create a mask? And you're going to say yes. And so you hit continue. And it's going to take you to this screen. Now, I want to talk about this just for a minute. You see my house is green. That means I've completed my mask. And when you see green, that means wherever the green is, the image is going to project onto. If you notice, my bushes aren't green. The image won't project onto the bushes. So everywhere we put green, that's where your image is going to project on. So the whole idea of this is we want to make our house green so that we can see the image from the projector. So it's our job to mark everywhere on our house green so that the image will play on that spot. We don't want it to play on the bushes. We just want it to play on the house. So we're not going to make the bushes green. Now you could make the bushes green if you want the image to play on there, but we'll just go with keeping it on the house. Now, if you scroll down, you're going to see this on the navigation bar. I just want to talk about this for a second. As we start to mask our house, and you're not going to have any green. The only reason I have green is because I've masked it. Your house is going to look white. If you see, it says point, draw, move, shapes. Add area, remove area. We're going to first start, you're going to put push point, and then we're going to add an area and we're going to let it auto mask. So what that means, I'm first going to talk you through verbally and then I'll show you, is that you're going to have point and you're going to have add area. You're going to pick a spot on your white house and you're going to you're going to take your finger and you're going to push on a spot. And it's going to go green and it's going to make all these little dotty, 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 dotties. Well, what's happening is the AI is going to mask your house. It's going to put green on it. Now, if you get lucky, your whole house will be green and it did it perfect. Not likely, but you may get lucky. Now, if it doesn't complete your house and you just see, oh, my door is green or my garage is green then you can add another point, right? Because you still have a lot of the house to do. So you'll push another spot on your house, right? You have that point highlighted. It already says add area. And the AI is going to do all the dotty dotty things on your screen. And it's going to auto mask your garage, maybe a little bit more. And then if there's another big part, like your roof line, Hit the point, let it auto mask. So you're going to keep touching your house a few times with that point so it can do it with the AI. Now, the AI is not going to get everything. So how do we finish it up? What you're going to do is there's that draw button. Push the draw button and then you can scribble over the areas that aren't green. Now, I thought that you had to be perfect. You do not have to be perfect with the scribbling, like inside the house. Just scribble, scribble like a first grader just to fill in so that auto masking is complete, or I'm sorry, or that your mask is complete, that it's just green. Now, if you go outside your edges, it doesn't have to be perfect but you can clean it up with the button that says remove area in red. You'll hit that remove area in red. Still keep it on draw because you're going to erase it. So if you went too much off or you went in, let's say, to the bushes, just take your pen, right, that you're using to draw with, with your finger, and scribble over that and you'll see it erase. And if you erase too much, you can either try to auto mask it again or just hit draw and add area right with the green push add area and try to fix it. You know, they, if you if you if you took off too much, you can fix it. So really, there's two ways that we're going to do this. We're going to use the AI and that's the auto. Right. Well, add area and point point 
in that area, the point is going to be your AI auto masking. Or B, you can draw. You can push draw. I mean, you technically could do your whole house that way. I just think it's harder. You hit draw. It's already on an ad area, and you fill in with green. If you did too much or you don't like what you did, you push remove area, which is in red, and you can scribble it out. Or the auto masking, right, because it's on the red remove area, will remove an area. So you can use the AI to remove an area, but remember it has to be on point, right? You will have you have it on point because that's always the AI, and that will either remove an area or an add an area, and you do that with the green and red at the bottom. It says remove area, add area, or you can use the draw. But just make sure if you want to draw, add area. If you want to remove, it's in remove area. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like with the auto masking and I said the little flashy dots. So this will be great because my house is green. I have to remove the mask. So I'm going to show you how I do it right so I can teach you how to add the mask. So you're going to see in the video I'm going to hit remove area and then I'll actually hit the point button. I'll let the AI do it and it actually gets rid of all of my green in one shot but you'll just see it we're going to remove the green mask and then i'll add the mask So this is a great example. It didn't move all the mask on this second one. So I keep adding dots to remove the green. Do you guys see that? I keep it's, I'm using the auto masking to remove it. So I keep hitting, I put a dot, remove with the point. And if you notice, it keeps taking the green off. I hit the point, remove area, right? It's getting there, but there's still some green on it. I'm still using the auto, but there's still some green. And let's see if I use the draw. Yep, I think I'm going to go to the draw. I push draw. And I take my finger. And I just erase. I'm, you can't see my finger. But I'm going over the green with my finger to remove the green. And it's going to be the same way in reverse when we go to add. So I'm using my finger. It's, it's almost there. It's just about there. Let me see if this plays through. And then I'll start adding it back. So it's clean now. Now look. I'm going to hit add area, I believe. Am I going to hit that? Yep. And then I'm going to hit point. I think that should be next. Yep. And now you put the point with your finger somewhere, and it's going to auto. See the little flashies? It's autoing it. Oh, that's green. I got more to do. So now I'm going to put another point somewhere else on my house to keep letting the AI do it. That's the AI. Let's see what goes green next. I pointed with my finger. I put a dot somewhere. It doesn't have to be wherever you want. So it's auto. Yep. And now it did that part of the house. I'm going to use the AI again for this. And it got my garage. Still missing some on the roof. I keep pointing, adding the area with my finger. You see by those little flashy dots, that's how you know it's the AI. And it's just about good. Let's see if I go into the draw. Yep. I'm going to go into the draw. Look at the top. I'm going to push draw. Now I'm going to fill in the rest with my finger. I should probably do the door. See me scribble, scribble, went a little too much. That's okay. We can erase it. That might even be fine. Notice the bushes aren't green. No image is going to go there. So I'm just taking my finger and I'm moving. Now I'm going to go to move. Look, see the move? If you are blind like me, hit move. Scroll in. You see me make it bigger and up. Oh, I missed the spot. Now I'm going to take my finger and scribble, scribble, scribble. That's just for my eyes. I'm going to go back to draw. 
and I'm going to scribble with my finger. See how it's not nice? But it's filling in that green. And your house will almost be masked. See that? Doesn't look pretty. Doesn't need to. It just, I want it green so when we do that image, it will cover that. Doesn't have to be pretty. At my door, there's a little, let's see, do I, am I done? Let's see, am I going to remove any area? Yep, remove maybe by the door. The, look at the door. See that go away, that green? I just used my finger with the draw switch. And that's pretty close. Let's see what I do. I recorded this the other day. I think I just want you guys to be able to see this. It's pretty much all green. Maybe there's some little crackies that I could fill in with my finger. Doesn't have to be perfect. I hit draw, remove area. Let's see, what am I going to do? Uh, back. Okay, I want you to see it. See, it's done. That's it. That's all there is to that. And then you have to make sure you save it, right? You don't want to lose your work. And then the one time you mask, you're good forever. You don't have to keep remasking your house. One and done, and then you can go to the prompts. Here it asked if I want to save the mask. I wrote yes. You sure you want to save this? Yes, I do. And then it should take you back there. And I believe... We will be done, and you're ready to start prompting. And then I think I just wanted to go in to show you what it looked like. That's a finished house, big, green, and we're ready to prompt.